Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. Today I'm going to introduce a new LLM inference service called Open Router that provides very cheap APIs for various open source models. Recently, OpenAI has updated the price for GPT 3.5 Turbo. That input price for the new model are reduced by 50% to 0.5 per million tokens. And output prices are reduced by 25% to $1.5 for 1 million tokens. The continuous drops in the price helped most of the multi-agent app developers and researchers as those type of applications cost the tokens more than other types. Unfortunately, the GPT 3.5 is no longer one of the top competitive models regarding various evaluation results and practical usages. So many open source models and their fine-tuned varieties are released every day claiming they are better choices for certain generation tasks. You must have found the average score of the newly uploaded models on Hugging Face's LLM leaderboard is insanely high. For those who are interested in those advanced models but do not own enough uh, local GPU resources to run them, there are several quick approaches for you. You can search for the model's space or playground for a quick taste of the chatbot. Or running the inference code in Google Collab can provide you time-limited access for small models, which is normally under 7 billion, for free. Obviously, these are not good choices when you want to do complicated application tests on a wide range of models. Using a pay-as-you-go service for remote model inferences with fast speed and low cost would be naturally the choice for most developers in the POC stage. After searching and comparing low-cost online inference services other than OpenAI like commercial APIs, I have a good recommendation for you today, the Open Router service. Open Router is a very new platform that serves as an aggregator for AI models, offering both an API and a conversational interface accessible via its uh, main page. The API they provide to developers is to engage with an area of large language models, image generation models, and 3D model generation tools. They also provide a dashboard that showcases the developer's applications to the public by using their service. From its model list, you will find a quite large number of popular open source models and several commercial models like OpenAI, Google Gemini, and Anthropic Cloud. To my surprise, there are a couple of 7B models that are free for use including Mestro 7B Instruct, Ego 7B, and Sapphire 7B. The only limitation is the rate limit of 10 API requests per minute. And most of the paid models are much cheaper than those you can find on the market. For example, Meta's Llama 213B chat only costs less than 15 cents per million tokens. And Mistral ATX 7B Instruct models, which is very hot recently, only costs 27 cents per million tokens. And E34B chart costs 72 cents per million tokens. And Colama 70B Instruct costs 80, 81 cents per million tokens. And most of the models can reach 50 tokens per second for throughput which is quite good performance. I have purchased a five US dollars credit, but I think it will last for quite a while for me to consume them. Now let's go through the code to see how to use the API in your multi-agent projects. I would like to use OpenAI compatible API so that I don't need to change any of my existing code for GPT models to run OpenRouter's inference. Let's write a simple code to test. First, uh, let's install the latest OpenAI package, then create the client, which is the same usage of OpenAI, and make sure you use the OpenRouter's base URL and the API key from your OpenRouter account. Then you should create a generation 
Let's try the free version of the model、uh, Mistral 7B Instruct to write a blog post of Boho Island, including transportation, meals, hotels, and activities. If you don't know the exact name and path of the model, you can find it on its browse page of each model. To me, the speed and the quality of the output is quite good, considering such a small model with seven billion parameters. However, creating such simple applications is not a great challenge. Let us explore the utilization of Open Router's API within the framework of multi-agent applications. First, let's look at the AutoGen application. In this AutoGen demo, I will continue our last task, which generates a blog post, and add a reviewer agent to provide professional blog review comments. Since the AutoGen project is in the fast iteration, please make sure you have updated to the latest version. 0.2.12 pip install upgrade py autogen. Since autogen's orchestration process will require LLM to have a certain level of capabilities to select the proper speakers from the descriptions, the free 7B models will not be suitable at this moment. Instead, I will use a Llama 2 fine-tuned model, NOS MS Llama 2 13B. For this application, this model will cost me only twenty-seven cents per million tokens for input and output tokens. Let's set up a global variable first,、uh, making sure you you have inputted the right model name and path, API key, base URL, and define the LLM config used by agents. In this demo, we will create three agents for this task. The user proxy for acting human prompt, the writer for writing the blog post, and the reviewer for providing comments on the blog post. Make sure both the writer and the reviewer have decent description fields for being orchestrated. Like this is a blog post writer who is capable of writing travel blog, and this one, this is a writing reviewer who will normally review the blogs from writers. And create a group chat and define the manager that manage the group chat. Okay, let's initiate the chat by providing the prompt: generate a qualified blog post about traveling in Boho Island. Then ask reviewer to give professional comments in details. From the result, looks the terminate signal has not been sent properly. And which is need to be improved by accommodating system messages for this particular model. The overall performance of the group、uh, orchestrations and agents response output looks very decent. The writer has made a good blog post, and the reviewer has reviewed that blog post. Then let's see how to implement Crew AI with Open Router API. If you are good at developing on the LAN chain, it will be very easy to apply a model to the sequential Crew AI application because its framework is developed under LAN chain framework. First, install Crew AI package pip install Crew AI, and then create an LLN object. By using LAN chain's chat open AI method, we can easily bridge the model. From the Open Router platform to Open AI API, and we will keep using NOS MS Llama 217B and provide API key and base URL. Next, like what we did in the AutoGen project, we are going to create a writer and a reviewer with their definitions of role, goal, and backstory. Then create two relevant tasks with the agent. The first task is to generate a qualified blog post about traveling in Boho Island. The second task is to give a professional comments in details for a given、uh, blog post. From the result, the crew successfully completed the task by providing the blog post here and a review comments here. The entire test, including AutoJ and Crew AI, has not cost me even one cent of my credits on the Open Router platform. 
This clearly demonstrates how cost-effective it is to conduct preliminary testing and a functional validation of open source models using the inference service from the open router platform. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.